Yeah. So every should should every student in your child's class make the guest list to their birthday party? That's a question that one mom posed on Reddit after her 12-year-old daughter said she wanted to have a cool birthday party and didn't want to invite two girls she said were boring. Mom said that everyone's invited, but the daughter said it's not fair since it's her party. <laughs> <laughs> and whose side are you on in this? <laughs> and can I just tell you that the mother <laughs> has been doing the party planning, and she also says the kids, the two kids, she doesn't really care for them. Do you think that helps to, like, make it a hard decision? <laughs> One, I can't focus with that voice. <laughs> two, I never think okay, it's okay. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> I never think it's okay to leave out just two people, but I'm also of the old mindset that you don't invite entire classes. When I grew up, you, my mom would say, like, you get to pick four friends or five friends and we can celebrate or keep it in the family. One, it can be very expensive to throw these parties these yeah. days because every single yeah. child is invited. And it kind of lacks a personal element. And two, Kids need to learn they're not gonna be invited. And that's the lesson I wanna teach my kids. I was not always invited. And they need me more uh, when they're being left out than when they're being included. So I think it's better to teach them young. You can't invite everyone and you're not always gonna be invited. How about if you just said you can't, you're not going, darling, because you're boring. Should you say that? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what Auntie Joy is for. <laughs> I also think this was a teachable moment because the daughter's yeah. being a little bit of a brat to say, a, like... A big brat. Yeah, a big brat. You can't... You don't single out these two. Like, there needs to be yeah. kind of a lesson. But I've Maybe she's a mean girl. <laughs> she is a... Well, she's becoming a mean girl. Oh, my God. This happened to me in junior high. Junior high's oh. the worst. I was the only girl not invited to the sleepover, and then they toilet papered my house, and my mom took down all the toilet Why? paper and left it on the other mom's doorstep. Why did they do that to you? Because I, I was the odd girl out. That happens in yeah. middle school. They tend to... What was odd? Girls. about you. I mean, I used to wear Bermuda shorts. <laughs> I we didn't have to talk listen, about your When I was a kid, I wore Bermuda shorts in a neighborhood where people were wearing weapons for clothing, okay? <laughs> yeah. So they picked on me. What was the reason they picked on you? I don't know, but I mean, therapy. Was it your ears? I was, I was, I was, <laughs> I was, it was the oh, was You were the probably the, the nerd. I was, I was the nerd. No. I was the, I was the book nerd, and I was the one that wasn't the cool kid that, uh -huh. you know, and my parents didn't let me go out anywhere, and so I probably couldn't go into the parties anyway, but I, I'm about kindness. Your parents in probably this world. told you, Sonny, you're too good for them. <laughs> they, they would and have. that stuck. <laughs> but, I, but I do think that, you know, it's about kindness and inclusivity. And when my kids have parties, only because we can afford it now, I make them invite everyone. I don't uh, allow this, these two people can't come because they're not cool. No, I, I wouldn't allow that. That's mean, not that's okay, mean but I, behavior. Well, they just excluded her. One. And I'm still traumatized well, 20 years later. Traumatized. Yes, it is. And it's my party and I cry if I want to. <laughs> cry if I want to. to I'm cry if I want to. <laughs> you, know? you would cry too <laughs> if it happened to you.